Welcome back. Today is February the 20th of 2020. This is Minister and Prophet Robert Williams from Prophetic Information Ministries, where we blow the trumpet, the shofar, around the world, informing you with prophetic news and bringing God's miracle ministry to the world. But well, this is my third video of the day. I wasn't going to do this, but God has just, uh, you know, put a download in me to, to do a video like this because my heart is, is, is kind of heavy right now. About a month or two ago, the Lord put on my heart to... Uh, get some uh, healing teachings ready to go. Uh, as most of you know that uh, I do read a lot of my, uh, my, my sermons I do because I do a research and I put those out. <coughs> you know, I'm not reading anything right now, but I'm just speaking from the heart. The Lord told me to get some healing teachings ready to go. And when he tells me to do things like that, I know it's for a reason. Just like when God speaks to you and he tells you to do something, you need to do it. I am working on that right now, but I'll be honest with you, I'm working a little slow at it. Uh, but I need to speed up the pace. And uh, you know, when he told me to do this, that's when the outbreak of the coronavirus started over in China. And then it's spreading all over the world. We've even got cases in America. And the reason, this is what I'm, I'm speaking from my heart and what the Lord has put on my heart. The reason he wants me to get some healing teachings ready to go, because I am going out and I am going to do some healing and miracle conferences, teachings. Because there's a lot of hurting people out there already. But a lot of people are going to get scared about this coronavirus that's going around. I'm sitting here in the heart of America in Kansas City right now. I don't think we have any cases here in the Kansas City area. I heard some patients are up in, in Iowa, and we almost had one in Lawrence, Kansas, but I haven't heard the rest in that. But nothing here in Kansas City that I'm aware of. But a lot of people are, are getting a little nervous out there. Some may be getting scared. But I want you to give you a little confidence in some of my research that I am I'm, I'm doing is why Jesus healed the people. He did it out of compassion for the people. Well, I have a compassion as well for a lot of hurting people. But this this thing might get a lot of people scared. People are going to start filling up churches. They're going to want answers. What's going on? But I want to tell you something. God is getting His people, His chosen ones, in place to give people hope. That God has given the gift of healings and miracles to to go out 
and to preach and to teach the people and to touch the lives of these people. If there is some sick people out there, they will be healed 100%. When God releases us to go out and to teach and to preach and to lay hands on the sick, anoint them with oil, they will be healed. Miracles will occur. That's what God has put on my heart to tell you right now. I'm going to leave a couple of links to some uh, videos that I came across today. And, and one is done by uh, Pastor Paul Bagley. It says, uh, Prophetic Alert, Corona Chaos Goes Global. American Hospitals Prepare for Pandemic. And Lisa Havens has a video out now. 7,000 plus U.S. under coronavirus quarantine. To bet you didn't hear that one on the news, China incinerates. It's, it's talking about um, you know, what's going on over there in, in China. They're incinerating people after they die. And, um, and here in America, she said that several Americans are under volunteering, a voluntary quarantine in their houses. And when this gets out in the national news, or if it does get out in the national news, People are going to start panicking. There's going to be chaos, maybe. They're going to be scared. Well, like I said, that's why God has told me to get some healing teachings ready to go. Because I'm going to go into places like that. I'm going to go into different churches around the country. And I'm going to preach. Others are going to preach. Others are going to lay hands on people and they're going to be healed instantly. That's right. I said instantly. Because that's what Jesus wants to do. He wants to demonstrate his power to the people of the world again. And it's going to happen. I have known this all my life, that I would be filling up stadiums and coliseums and, and open fields where there would be thousands of people there. I would be preaching and I would be saying, in Jesus' name, you're healed. And the Lord Jesus healed them all right there on the spot. I started getting these dreams when I was seven, eight years old. Seven or eight years old. And then I kept getting dreams. God speaks to me in dreams every, you know, I get, I get dreams every night. Not all dreams are from God, but most of them are. And, and for many years, I've been doing YouTube videos. I've been putting up my dreams on YouTube. And I've got some written out as well. But I want you to know that there's hope. Do not give up on yourself. Do not give up on God. He has his chosen set aside for such a time as this. And we're coming out of our caves. The sons of God are being manifested right now. I can feel the anointing all over me. And uh, I, 
I, I, I, I just want to encourage you. If people start, you know, I'm, I'm speaking to the pastors and the ministers out there and the bishops. When people start filling up your churches and they're wanting answers and you don't have the answers, maybe you don't have the gift of healing or the faith to reach out to these people. Maybe you might be afraid of laying hands on people that have this virus or any other virus that's coming. Because there are other things that are coming. I know a lot of things that the Lord has put on my heart. And now I see these things happening. You know, I, I try to maybe push that onto the back burner. I don't want to see this, Lord. I don't want to have nothing to do with this. I, I don't want to see it. But the stuff is coming to the forefront now. Judgment is coming to the world. Why does stuff start happening in China? I'm going to tell you why. Why they are getting judgment is because they are killing off Christians. They are uh, blowing up or tearing down churches over there. They don't want Christians there. This is what Satan does, steal, kill, and destroy. That's why they're getting judgment. Why are other countries getting judgment? Because they do the same things. They bring down Christians. They kill Christians. And God is bringing judgment. Look what's happening over in Uganda and Kenya and, and other African countries. They have plagues of locust eating the crops. And now these locusts are now making its way, swarms of them are making their way to China. Like they have enough problems already, but they're getting more, more judgments. The more you go against God's people, the more judgment you're going to get. That's just the way it is. Do not anger the Holy One. Do not anger God and think you can get away with it because you cannot get away from it. This, we are living in the last days, people. We are living in the last days. I know people have been saying that for a long time. But look what's going on in the world today. Look at what, in America, look what just happened in the House of Representatives. They went against Trump. They tried to impeach him. Nancy Pelosi is one of the most evilest persons on the planet. And there's others like her there. President, you may not like President Trump. But you know, he has Bible studies in the White House. You have ministers coming in and out of the White House all the time. You know, it's not like President Obama had these Muslim clerics come in there. You know, being pro-gay, pro-homosexuals. You don't have that there anymore. That's part of the new world order. That's part of Satan's kingdom. President Trump and Vice President Pence, they're going against the new world order. 
we have ministers out here that are praying for President Trump and the administration that we can bring God back into America. Uh, I, I, you know, God will heal our land if we humble ourselves before him and pray and get this country right again or any other country that you're out because I get people from all over the world watching my videos that visit my website you know, if you happen to go to my website at Prophetic Information Ministries or God's Miracle Ministry, go to the very bottom of the page. You'll see this globe that pops up. You can click on that and you can see a map of where people are hitting from and what city they're hitting from. Just about every country in the world are coming to my site because they're looking for more information. They're looking for prophetic information. You know, they're, they're looking for miracles. God's miracle ministry. That's why it's called God's miracle ministry. Because he is going and he is doing miracles. You know, through my ministry that he's given me. It's not called Robert Williams' miracle ministry. It's called God's miracle ministry. This is his website, his information, and I, I thank God for this. I'm, I'm about ready to close because I don't want this video to be long. I could talk to I'm blue in the face right now, but I'm not. But if you honestly, as a pastor or a minister, need somebody to come in, and preach and demonstrate the power of God in healing, then you call me up. I will come. I will come prepared for a specific message from God for your church, for maybe what's happening. And watch the Lord Jesus Christ perform his miracles. That's right. I've already I'm already doing that here in Kansas City. Go to my testimony page on God's Miracle Ministry.com and God's Miracle Ministry Revival.com. You go there and you will watch, you, you read those tes testimonies and you'll see what I'm talking about. These are testimonies that pastors are sent into me, people have sent into me from around the world. Miracles happen as I send out prayer cloths around the world. Miracles happen when I anoint people with Azuzu Street Revival anointing oil. That's right. I have some of the original oil from the Zuzu Street Mission. I've had that since June. I have had several of God's generals impart to me their anointings. Go and see what I'm talking about. When you get all these anointings and you bring them into one, that is one powerful anointing. One powerful anointing. God has prepared me for such a time as this. And now I am beginning to step out. Step out and do my call. To do the dreams that God has called me. That he's shown me that he was getting me ready for. Now I'm stepping out. And you have a call of God too. Now you need to step out into your call. You know, I had a dream about a month or two ago that Jesus came to me in a dream. It's, it's on YouTube. 
And ever since he came to me in a dream, doors are sitting wide open for me. Things are opening up. And I thank the Lord Jesus Christ for that. Because he cares about his people. Notice I said his people. Those are the people that love him, that trust him, that love him, you know. Do you trust Jesus? Do you love Jesus? Are you one of his? Are you still living in the world? It's time for everyone to wake up. And if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, I suggest you do that right away. You better change your life. Better think, change the way you're thinking. Bible prophecy is coming to pass very rapidly now. So prepare yourself. Get right with God. Get right with God. Go to a good Bible-believing church and you give your heart over to the Lord. When they have the benediction call, you go up front and you get prayed for. You say the sinner's prayer and the Lord Jesus Christ will heal you. And then I suggest you get into some Bible studies. Learn all you can about God. Because no one is promised tomorrow. No one. Well, I'm going to go ahead and close. I'm going to thank you for listening and watching. And if you want me to come to your church, and some of my other ministers, we will come. We will have a revival, an end-time revival at your church, and you will watch miracles and healings happen. Because I'm not going to waste my time to go to a church and there's no miracles, that nobody's life has changed. I'm not going to have anything to do with that. God will demonstrate his power in the meetings he sends me to. I know that because I've seen it. You can see some of my meetings or services I've been here on, on YouTube or Facebook. I'm not going to have anything to do with anything that is fake. I'm going to demonstrate my faith into people and you're going to watch them be healed you only need a little bit of faith like the size of a mustard seed you want to get more involved with the ministry what God's doing you want to get anointed you want to get impartations so you can operate in this then invite me in and I'll give you an impartation I will pray for you and the Lord Jesus and Holy Spirit will pour into you. Just last Sunday, I prayed for a young lady at a church I haven't been into about a year. God poured out his love to this girl. She's 32 years old. She's on fire for God. And God wanted to promote her and to share his love to her. He had me do that. She got a new mantle that day. That was just last Sunday. And I thank God for that. He used me to impart his love to someone else and promote her. And he wanted to give her a new mantle. And that is what has happened. Maybe I'll put pictures of this girl. You know, I only got it from her back, but she was wearing my tallit. I may put that on my website and give you a little story. Maybe I'll do a YouTube video on that alone. But right now, if you need a miracle, does your church need a miracle? 
do you need healing in your church? Then you call me up. My phone number is on my website at godsmiracleministry.com or if you need a free prayer cloth as in Acts 19 verse 11 and 12 you email me your name, your address and I will mail you one out for free at robert at godsmiracleministry.com and if you want to help support my ministry because I'm going to need expensive money to go out to, to rent a car or if somebody wants to bless me with a brand new car I'd appreciate it so I can go out and, and minister around the country in June I'm headed to West Virginia to do a three-day healing and miracle crusade up there but I need finances to do all this. If you want to do that, go to my website. Or I'll put a description below here on the video. Uh, uh, go to my GiveLify account. And you pray about it. And you see what God wants you to donate. It's a tax-deductible donation. And I, I just want to thank you for all the love and the support. And, and I need all your prayers I can get. You want to be an intercessor for God's miracle ministry? Sign up for an intercessor. I'll send you out special newsletters you know, for the intercessors and people that send in prayer requests. I'll, I'll send those out to you so you can pray over them. Because miracles happen. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Thank you for watching this, minute, this, this video. Thank you. And I, this is Minister and Prophet Robert Williams from God's Miracle Ministry, God's Miracle Ministry Revival, and Prophetic Information Ministries.com. So I will see you on the next video and subscribe to my YouTube channel or my Facebook page. Take care. God bless you and I'll see you on the next video.